Okay, cut the deck into four piles. Go ahead. Okay, very good. Wow. Awesome. Whoa, did you see that? That's how I usually start my four ace routine. And then I carry on with what follows. Talk to you right after this. As a magician, we should all have a great, if not phenomenal, Four Aces production in our arsenal. I've been doing this one for so long now, I guess it's time for me to give it away. So now I'm going to teach you how to combine those two effects where you have the spectator that actually cut onto the four aces and where you're able to actually shoot the aces out of the deck. You need two sets of four aces. Now if you're a little nervous about using two sets of four aces, I'll teach you a way uh, of doing the same routine with only one set of four aces. So first thing you need to do is to place one set on top of the deck, then place two aces, a red and a black one on the top, and a red and a black one on the bottom of the deck. And you're all set to start this beautiful routine. Start by asking your spectator to cut into four piles. Now quickly rush to the piles and do two movements at the same time, but be very, very quick when you do this. Flip over your right hand packet and at the same time you're going to flip the top card of the left hand packet but place it on the second pile. That's the first move. Second move, immediately after this has happened, you do the same thing except this one you're going to take the first ace here, the second ace here and you're going to do a little switch. This confuses the spectator. That's the first step of this routine. Immediately after that, congratulate your spectator on cutting the four aces. Then, you need to grab the deck and you need to ask your spectator to lose the aces in the deck, wherever he or she wants. Close everything and you're ready for the second phase, the second trick, where you actually need to, now remember you have your four aces here, you need to do a faro shuffle, only with a little part of the deck, not with half the deck. Faro shuffle those cards, the best you can. It's okay, because you only need the four aces to be perfectly faro. And then, the small movement here is extremely important. I'm creating an angle here so that these cards here are loose and free to be shoot out. These bottom cards here are more inserted into the, the deck here. So create that angle, you know, push those bottom cards further into this portion of the deck. So now you have a, a, a slight angle here, a slope. Now to grab everything and start practicing where you know each little ace will amazingly be ejected of the deck and you're done now if you're extremely nervous about using two sets of ace here's what you can do once you have your spectator cut to the four aces and you want your spectator to lose the, the, the aces into the deck again, make sure you make it and you do it face up. And the reason for that is this. 
you place or they can place the aces where they, where they, wherever they want into the fan. Close the fan. Make sure the aces stay, stick out half the, their way. And do this move. Make this portion slide down and start executing a Hindu shuffle while stripping out those four cards, the four aces. So this goes down here, then strip everything out and start doing a Hindu shuffle. So now the four aces are on the top here and you're ready to do the shoot. I really put, you know, my heart and soul in each of my short films. And I'm so happy to have an army of wizards behind me. So thank you to all of you for being amazing, astonishing wizards. And let's make it happen.